What's up, YouTubers? I am back with another video today, and today I'm going to be talking about the top five crossover movies. Now, like I said, as always, these are my opinions. I hope you enjoy the video. Please uh, comment at the bottom. All right, let's get started. All right, number five, Batman vs. Superman. This movie was, it was a pretty all right movie, I mean, I guess. I mean, I saw the movie one time. The movie was pretty good. Uh, I like Ben Affleck as Batman. I thought he was pretty cool. The thing is, like, it's just, I don't really, like, I think that when they made Batman, I think they made his voice too deep. I thought that that's what they did. I thought they did wrong. I mean, I mean, I also thought the movie was kind of dumb that Superman died. I, mean, I didn't really like Superman, but, I mean, I didn't really think it was cool for him to die. I mean, as you see in the movie, Wonder Woman's in the movie. Uh, I mean, she's pretty cool. But, I mean, the movie's, like, I mean, it's alright, but it's not one of my favorite movies, but it is one of the crossover movies that I have, so I am mentioning it in the list today, so, so that's, uh, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Alright, next on my list, Alien vs. Predator. Now, I have Alien vs. Predator, but I don't have Alien vs. Predator Requiem. I don't have that movie, uh, I'm eventually probably gonna try to get it soon. I don't know when, but, uh, if I did have it, I, was, I would put it with this one because technically they're the same movie, so I would put that with this. Um, I mean, Alien vs. Predator, I mean, that's a pretty good movie. I mean, you get to th see a lot of aliens, and you get to see three Predators. I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, I mean, I've always loved the aliens. I've always loved the Predators, and then when, um... They did the crossover with between these two. I thought that that was absolutely amazing. I mean, I like that. Um, people always ask me, who do I like better, the alien or predator? I've always been more connected with the predator. I mean, I've always liked the predator more. Um, I mean, but I mean that's my opinion. So I mean, I don't know if you like the alien better or predator, but I'm just saying in my opinion. I like the predator better. So yeah, that's alien versus predator. Alright, now, I got two, since these are the same movies, I'm counting them for each other, The Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron. Now, this these movies were pretty good. These were the only two Avenger movies that are released so far, but eventually, sooner or later, we get, we're going to be seeing um, Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and 2 in 2018 and 19. Um, there's a few movies coming up soon. There's Spider-Man Homecoming, there's The Black Panther, Civil War already came out. I mean, that's pretty cool. So in Avengers, we finally get to see Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Mark Ruffalo, Samuel Jackson, Scarlett Johansson, and Jeremy Renner's in the movie. Um, Tom Hilderson as well as Loki. I mean, so this was a pretty cool movie. I mean, I like the Avengers. Um, I like Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk. I thought he did a pretty good job. I like Robert as Iron Man. I like that. And then for Age of Ultron, it's the sequel to the movie. We finally get to see one of the Avengers' top biggest enemies. We get to see Ultron. This one we get to introduce to um, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Um, so the movie, th these movies were pretty good. I like the Aven I like Avengers, and Avengers: Age of Ultron. I thought that these movies were pretty good. So that's my opinion. All right, all right. Number two on the crossover movies list. Godzilla, King Kong vs. Godzilla. This movie was, I, I like, I've always had a thing for Godzilla and King Kong, which is why I put this for number two on my list. Um, <clears throat> this movie was pretty cool. I like the battle between Godzilla and Kong. The only thing that makes no sense is that if you watch the 2005 Kong movie, when they find the footprint, they say that he's about like 20, 25 feet. Godzilla's about, and, and if you watch Godzilla King of the Monsters, they say that he's like 100 feet tall or something. So, if that was the case, then Godzilla would easily be kill King Kong. But in this movie, they matched them up to the same size, which gave it a brutal battle. I mean, I like that. As I said before, people say that in the U.S. version, Kong wins. and the Japanese version, Godzilla wins. I don't know if that's true or not, because I only have the U.S. version, so I have no idea if... Kong wins in the U.S. and Japanese Godzilla wins, but I don't know that, but otherwise, on the other hand, besides that, I thought that this movie was pretty good. Um, Godzilla versus Kong, that was a pretty good battle. 
Um, I can't wait for 2020, because if you probably don't know, in 2020, they're making a movie, Godzilla vs. Kong, and that's going to be pretty good, so I can't wait for that. And that's actually the year I graduated high school, so, yeah. Alright, number one for crossover movies on my list, Freddy vs. Jason. There is no doubt about it that I put this for number one on my list because Freddy vs. Jason is an absolute amazing movie. I've always been a fan of the horror flick movies. Um, so when I, this is, like I said before, in my Jason movie, this is the movie that finally got me into all the horror flick movies. Um, I mean, I love, this was also Robert England's last movie as Freddy. Um, I liked, um, the guy who played Jason, I don't remember his name, but I liked him. Originally, Kane Hodder was supposed to play Jason, but I think the director did not like the way that Kane Hodder played Jason, so they decided to get rid of him, so then they had this guy play him. So in this story, um, Freddy needs to get back to fear so he can start haunting the kids on Elm Street, saying he can't do that, so he needs Jason, so he pretends to be Mrs. Voorhees, and he eventually goes after Jason, and when Jason can't stop killing, um, Freddy decides to go after Jason, Jason realizes he's being used, and then Jason wants to kill Freddy. So I thought that this movie was ex excellent, this movie was awesome, I mean, I've always loved this movie. So, so, I mean, I hope they make a few, uh, crossover movies as well, I mean, um, I, m I might want to see one day, probably, Chucky vs. the Leprechaun, I think that that would be pretty cool, I'd like to see Warwick Davis vs. Red Dwarf, that would be cool, um, I'd probably want to see Jason vs. Michael Myers, maybe Michael Myers vs. Leatherface, I think that would be pretty cool as well, um, I can't wait for Avengers Infinity War to come out. I think that's going to be a pretty awesome movie. I hope they make another Alien vs. Predator movie. Because the last one we saw was Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Where we saw the Pred Alien. And uh, we're in, in somewhere in 2017. I think it's in November. They'll make it Dawn of, Dawn of Just, the Justice League. I'm at. Uh, so I think that that would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So this is Mad Denorma. And I will be back with another video very soon.